Hi everybody, welcome to my Skywatch 2's channel and this is Robin and Daryl and we're getting ready to open up another jewelry jar from Goodwill. If you won't see anything in this jewelry jar that you would like, uh, reference this date 518 and jewelry jar number 12. Send us an email telling us what you want. While you're watching the video you can um, make a timestamp of the item that you want for reference. Makes it easy for me to find out what you're talking about in your description and it makes it easier for you to find later too. So anyway, with that said, we're gonna um, do the jewelry jar roll next and I'm gonna do it over here. If I can pick it up, oh my. Oh my. The seven pounder and here we go. We're doing a roll, but we're doing a back and forth, too. Just so you get a good view of the whole jar. They'll see it. Looks interesting. <laughs> so, okay, you ready to go? All right. I'll let him open it up. That one was not taped shut, but it's good and full, so. Well, those came straight out of the back. They didn't have a chance to tape them. Oh, yeah. I'll let you play while I... Okay. I'll let go of it. Can't play with it if you don't let go of it. <laughs> Here is the first necklace we have, a spring ring clasp. Old tone, good condition. These are, get that little thing straightened out here. There we go. That's the way it's supposed to look. Beautiful cobalt blue beads with a little gold bead in between. Good condition. Very pretty. Next thing we have is, ooh, some tangles. All right. My favorite. Just for you, huh? We have a cuff bracelet. I mean, not cuff, bangle. <laughs> Textured. It's got a copperish gold color in the inside here, but you've got some silver here on the outside with this design. So it's like a two toned. You can see that. There you go. There. In good shape. It is magnetic. Oh. The next item we have is a necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp, an extender with a bead. It is tagged. Daisy Fuentes. It's double snake chained. Down to these discs, you have a little hammered disc, a larger disc, and even another size, which I think I like it better like this. There you go, the three sides. One of the discs is a gunmetal color, so you have the contrast of metals and texture. Very pretty. It's got a nice weight to it. It's in good shape. The next necklace we have is lobster claw clasp. It's got a large lobster claw. There's the other side. Needs a little cleaning. I'm not sure that was not any writing on there. It's got a curved chain and it's got some very pretty druzy. I think it's dyed druzy. Very pretty. It's got really a really nice sparkling green with this gold. It's very rich looking. Let's see if I can make this right. I think the chain is twisted. That's the 
first thing you have to get straight on these things. And yes, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> I can't get it. Oh. These have a very nice weight to them. But I can't tell you how to fix it. Here. <laughs> hey, it just takes time to get them lined up when they've been twisted around so many times. Okay, it took a little time, but now the chain is all laying right, so you can see how these lay out around the necklace too. Okay, hook it now, and it's easy to show. I just needed to straighten it out. Those are very pretty though. And here's the backs. Nowhere. Just a very pretty necklace. The next one we have. What is that? Ugh. It's not my night. We have a beautiful iridescent white, or pearlized white, more, it's not iridescent, there's not colors, but beautiful white braided seed bead necklace. It's got these nice end caps. There's your lobster claw, there's your extender with a bead. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Again, I'm going to make sure that it's laying right. If it's not, it doesn't do right. There we go. Very pretty. As you can see, they're pearlized. If they were iridescent, you'd see colors in that. Thank you. Okay, the next one we have is a little bracelet with beads and triangles that need cleaning. They're very, some of them are very rustic looking. The others are hammered. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that or not. Let's see. It's 
Very pretty. Very different. Lobster claw clasp and extender with the bead. The next is this one. It's got a little heart clasp. Spring ring clasp. Very cute. Shoemaker's Mark. I'm not familiar with this one. Looks like two J's back to back with an O in the middle. I don't know. Very pretty chain. And these beautiful rhinestone spacers in between the chains. Then some are just polished. Comes back to the rhinestone spacers and the polish. Very nice layering piece. Very pretty. The next one is a copper colored lobster claw with an extender. No bead on the extender. Double Rolo chain. And it comes down to these little drop beads. And the, let's see if they're cold. I believe they are acrylic. They're in gold and a purplish pink color. And then this one here is like an Aperito color. Very pretty. Very pretty necklace. Love the drape on this. The layering. Very pretty. We show better here. Here you go. And let's bring down the light some so you can see the color. This one's that purple, and then you have the um, Peridot looking colored one like this one and then these up here are golden colored. Very pretty. The next is a multi-chain lobster claw class. Doesn't have a very long extender here. There's your chains. It is magnetic. And you have um, gunmetal and silver tone. Two different colors and various types of chains. Very pretty. I'm going to measure this, this necklace. Okay, it's 18 inches on the shortest part. Next is another statement piece with multi layers. I haven't seen one like this before. Very different. It's got your peachy colored cabochons and a basket bezel set. Lobster claw clasp and extender with the bead. Rolo chain. It is um, gold tone in color. Here's the back. It's worn on the back. The Rolo chain up top is worn. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. This is pretty. These are cold. 
These look like stones, but some of these, I don't know if they're stone or glass. That looks like stone up there, but these look like glass to me. And I could be wrong. And then there's wooden, carved wooden beads. Let me get this to focus a little better. So that you can see. Very earthy colors. You have a barrel clasp that needs replacing. clean that off. What you see there is, I don't know, I just need a deep cleaning. But the rest of the necklace is beautiful. So I'm going to set that aside to clean it. Clean me. Uh -huh. The next one is also a wooded one. You have a lobster claw class that is silver colored, very matted silver color. And then you have, I know you have wood on here. I'm wondering if you don't have bone also, but these are bone pieces here. And that, because they don't feel like wood. Not like these other pieces feel like wood. Like these all feel like wood. So I believe you have wooden bone in this. Very boho style. Let's just show this on skinny right off the bat. Okay. I believe it's a Chico's, I believe. Well, it's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a Chico's or not, we'll look at that in a minute. Very pretty. It's got a little disc of pave rhinestones. All throughout is three three links. Bring down the lights on there. Now you can see it a little better. This is gold tone. These are silver tone. The clasp is a lobster claw clasp. This is quite enlarged, extended with a bead. There's a tag on here. It does say Chico's. Chico's. Very pretty. It's very pretty. Great shape. No wear on the metal. The next is a beautiful strand of graduating black beads. You have a gold tone spring ring clasp. You have little uh, silver tone separators. I'm sorry, gold tone. And these are acrylic beads in the black. Very classic. I believe what we have here is an anklet, and I believe it's missing a little clasp place here, because that's really the chain, so we'd have to add that. But it's the sun, moon, and stars, little anklet, very pretty, and I'm going to see about fixing that one, so I'll take my fix-it lot. I 
some really pretty pearl earrings here. Chandelier type. And silver tone setting. Beautiful. Those are real pearls, I believe, too. Very long. French wires. If I see any thing on these or not, they look like they would be. Um, yeah, I don't see any. They look like they'd be stainless steel. I'm gonna give them a rub though, and we're gonna give them a magnetic test. Yeah, they're magnetic. Slightly. Okay. But very beautiful. And very well made. Very pretty pearl pieces. To go with all those pearl necklaces this summer. Have a beautiful pearl necklace here. It's got a box clasp. It's an older necklace. It's missing a little pearl here. The clasp is very pretty. Here's the back. I don't see any marks on it. No, I don't see any marks on that. See what I'm doing. There we go. Very pretty. Pearls are knotted in between. They don't feel like glass pearls, so I don't know. I don't know what if they're real or not. They do look pretty uniform though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's a little statement necklace in yellow and rhinestones. Gold tone. Here's the back. Here's your chain. Chain looks like it needs a little cleaning, like it's got a slight tarnish to it. It's got a more golden look to it with a little copperish color coming through, but that's really the way these, the backs of these are too. So that may be the way this, it's supposed to be, because even the lobster claw is the same color. So yeah, the metal work on this is in good shape. No different, no different colors. That's got a knot on it. Boo! Let me fix it. Okay, I got it. It's a very long extender. Very pretty. All the stones are there. Here you go, hon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a daydreamer. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like a scarf beaded. Okay. Necklace. You have this end here, which that can go around the neck and you can bring this down and then just tie it and have a tassel. Or you can bring this up front and let it hang down and then bring this other around your neck on both sides. Oh, okay. So wear it would wear like that. There's all kind of ways you can wear this. It's got a lot of beads on it, a lot of nice beads. You close up look at that. Here's the other part. Very pretty. We have a choker like necklace. Sea beads. Missing a clasp. Lobster claw or a spring ring. There's the front of it. 
see if you can run through it. Very pretty seed beads on this. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Here's another one that's got wear on the lobster claw extender. Rollo chain. It comes down to these little discs. It's got discoloration. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Here's a little shell. Beautiful colors. I don't think I've seen one with these wider pieces and it's shorter this way. That's pretty. It's very pretty. I like this a lot. It's a nice size. We have these beads. You've got your barrel clasp that is made to match the beads. It's all red, even the spacers. In very good condition. Let's see. This is a vintage necklace, I believe. Twelve. Three, fifteen, thirty inches. A nice thirty-inch ne necklace. You can layer it with others or wear it alone. Have another long necklace. Here's your lobster claw clasp. It's got wear on it. Here's your extender with the bead. Here's your chain. It's got wear on it. Not bad wear where it looks bad, but you know it, it's been worn. It's been loved. Love the turquoise colored beads on there. They are very cold, so they're some kind of stone, but I don't believe they're turquoise. They could be halide or magnesite. Oh, look at that. They're dancing. That's very cool. But yeah, that's a nice necklace. The next one is Lobster Claw Class and extended with the bead. It's in good shape. No wear. And what is this? You don't know. Well, it's something supposed to be. Oh, in there. wait a minute. Oh. Oh, hey, you don't like it? Yeah. Okay. Like, what is that? <laughs> It's a lie necklace, and it's, then it's got two thin, and then you have this part that goes up and down the necklace, like that. You can make it short, you can make it long, do whatever you want with it. Let me pull that side back down. There you go. There's your layers. We've got three stretchy bracelets here. One's orange, and it's done on the orange, the complementary thread to it, instead of just a plain old white one. Then these are glass little crystals, stretchy, beautiful. And then just a plain, simple silver tone piece. We'll put them all together. Okay. One bag. We have another um, Shambhala bracelet. I like these. XOXO braided. It's a chocolate brown color. Very pretty. This is cool. Two different ones. Oh, it's two different ones. 
Oh, but you could wear them together if you wanted to. Let's see what we have here. It's a it's a hook class finesse hook. Go ahead. Oh, it, it's um. Yeah. The YSL. That's uh. Saint Laurent. Yeah. I never pronounced the first name. Yes. <laughs> so that's very cool. Very boho, but very, very nice. With the leaves. Oh, skinny, so we can really get a look. The way it would look on your neck. Very pretty. Very cool. And then it's we have a brown one. The chocolate brown cord, just like it. There you go. And you might be able to layer them like that. I don't know. Let's see. No, they don't. Well, they have small extenders, so yes, you could put one at the end and the other one not. But very pretty, both of them. I wear them separate. just at the same length. And even that looks good. Very cool. Very boho. I'll put those guys together. Yeah, keep them together. And next is puka shells and beads. love the blue and then you've got also the little flower stations there and one at the end that's very cute what we got going on here? there we go I fixed it that's very cute perfect summer Pretty blue bathing suit. Got a crucifix here. Here's the back. It's got O L R M. A mint green and yellow beads. Very pretty. 